Hi guys! Um, you might notice there's a new setting. Because today I'm going to be doing a like book tag. So, um, I'm going to leave all the questions down below. And if you want to do the video, you are tagged. If you don't want to do the video, the questions are down below in case I mumble. Yep. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it because, you know, limited time and all that stuff. Um, so question number one on the theme down here you can't see is what is your favorite childhood book or alternatively what is the first book you can remember as a child? And I'm not going to go into my sappy book story because it's, I mean like, so many people already know it. Um, and by so many people I mean my friends. And I just thought maybe a different video. Not this one. Um, but I didn't really read as a child, so a lot of the first books I remember are like um, picture books because I didn't like reading at all. There was this fairy book that was in my um, elementary library that was super cool. But um, I guess my favorite childhood book, or the book I remember as a child that like meant a lot to me, of course, is going to be the Harry Potter books. This is actually my Harry Potter book from my childhood. As you can see, it is um, kind of beat up. Um, so the second question is, what is your favorite book of all time? Um, or what is the book you can always recommend? And I don't have a favorite book of all time, but I do have a book I always recommend. And actually I want to preface this that most of the books I'm showing you here are books I would recommend. I usually judge the person, judge what they already read, and recommend by that, rather than just going, oh, I read this book, you would love it. I think it's, it's, people don't get into books like that. You have to be very personable and be like, oh, so you like sci-fi, I really read this sci-fi book, have you read it? Do you like modern sci-fi? Do you like fat, like fantasy type of sci-fi? And you break it down from there, that's how I generally do it. But as a history major, um, I, I recommended this book to a lot of history students. It is Outlander, and um, it, it's not, I feel like, a book that everybody would love, but it's definitely a book series I really like being a history major, being interested in these characters, and it has a sci-fi or um, fantasy element, so I usually recommend this to people because it covers multiple genres, so I think they always like it. I'm like, oh, you like fantasy? Outlander. Oh, you like history? Outlander. But that's generally a book I recommend. I, again, most of the books I show here I also recommend to people, so the rest of the video is also going to be answering this question. Um, three is what I'm currently reading, and it is this starting point, um, these years, 1979-1996, with Hao Miyazaki. It is fantastic. This is about where I am right now. And it's a lot of insight on um, directing, what he thinks about directing, how he thinks about like store storyboarding and stuff. So this is a book I've recommended to one of my friends who's an um, aspiring manga artist, like a seriously aspiring manga artist, and um, a book I've also recommended to an aspiring director I know because it covers both and I, it's very interesting. So I really like that. And what forthcoming book are you awaiting? Uh, so um, the book I'm looking forward to coming out next is by Patricia Briggs. It is her Mercy Thompson series. I believe it's something about silence. I just remember the title and I was like, no, I don't need to look it up. I will put the name of the book right here and who it's by. So that's the book I'm looking forward to. It comes out in March and I own all of the Mercy Thompson books, which is actually that shelf right there. And underneath it's my Harry Potter shelf. Um, so I absolutely love Patricia Biggs characters and books and I recommend them a lot as well. Um, so what bu what book should be made into a TV show or a movie? Um, well, of course, I really like the Outlander TV show. I actually think that the, the flaws that are in the books, sometimes the TV show corrects that. Sometimes the TV show makes it worse. Um, but if you haven't seen Outlander, you might 
think about watching it as long as you're not like a kid. Like ask for your parents' permission before going to see Outlander children. Um, but I don't really like this question because I, I like books are the best in its medium. Things are best usually in their medium that they're already made into. That being said, we do watch a lot of like TV series or um, movies that are based off books. You know, The Great Gatsby, Game of Thrones, and those are excellent and they're amazing, but the medium in which, you know, The Great Gatsby was in, it's its best form. But I'm going to answer the question anyways. I'm not going to chicken out. I would say I would really like to see Mercy Thompson or her spinoff series with Anna and Charles, um, the Crime Moon Alpha and Omega series, um, made into a TV show. I'm generally for TV shows being made um, from books rather than movies because like Outlander and Game of Thrones have proven essentially that it's the best medium. It, it covers most of the book and gives the characters the most depth. So I would love to see that happen, um, but I'm not going to cry if it doesn't. I like the characters and the medium they are in, and I, I don't need this to come about. Also, shout out, um, I didn't pick it up, but American Gods is becoming its own TV show by Neil Gaiman. I absolutely love that book. I cannot wait for that TV show, and Neil Gaiman has worked really hard with, with the, um, I think it's Showtime or Stars or whatever who picked it up to make it for us, and so I'm super, super excited for that, and I also think they're making good omens, I think, um, the Neil Gaiman book or whatever, into a movie as well, or is that, no, no, my bad, it's the Dark Tower series with Stephen King is also coming out to a movie. I have not read the Dark Tower series, but American Gods is really good. If you want to, you should pick it up before this TV show comes out and follow how well it does, knowing that Neil Gaiman worked really hard to transfer what is best in one medium to what is going, hopefully, to be really good in another medium. So, thumbs up. I, and then question number six. It is, what is the last book I read? And that is The Water Knife. I'll go ahead and bow. The Water Knife, and I guess I'll, I'll put all the books I'm talking about in the description below. Um, I got it on clearance at the Tatter Covered for six bucks. It is really good, but also very scary, as I say in like every single video. I'm from Colorado, I live in the West. This is about water drying up in the West, so it it's a little terrifying, but it was a really, really good book, and I absolutely adored it. Um, so question number seven is what is the last bad book you read? And I don't generally keep bad books, um, which is actually a really big improvement because I didn't throw away or give away any books for the very longest time. And I finally, when I got into college and started keeping my textbooks was like, I do not have the, the room to keep all these books. So I got rid of a lot of my bad books. So by light, by twilight series, by all the other stuff. Um, but one of the, the bad books that I have that I could show you is the Blackbird manga. And I know some of you are going to actually like this and whatnot. I particularly did not. It gives me the key, like, the makes my, like, goose bumps or whatever, like, raise. Like, I don't particularly like it, which is why I only have the first one and the second one in the series. It's kind of creepy. It skeeves me out. That's what I was looking for. It skeeves me out. Um, so I probably will never finish the series or read it ever again, and that's that. It's I don't think it's necessarily bad in the storytelling or the the content or not the content, the characters or whatever. But the content and some of the characters are really uh, Twilight esque. Huh? Eh? Huh? Anyways, moving on to the next question. Um. Has any book ever influenced you greatly? And um, again, try not to make this a video about my sad sob story of the kid, but I, Harry Potter. Harry Potter is one of the, I mean, all the books I keep, I'm in college, so I read, or I'm not in college, I used to be in college, and I kept most of my textbooks because they influenced me greatly. I'm a history student. 
I was a history student and um, and um, you know those books are very important for maybe the career I have in the future but they're also just really important to me but I mean I can trace the path of my life through picking up Harry Potter when I was in fourth grade and finally learning to read and getting enjoyment for reading. Um, I would not be the person who I am today and I would have not graduated college or anything like that if it was not for my beloved JK Rowling and Harry. And the yeah, other issues in the book, but again that's not what this is about, but um, definitely Harry Potter means a lot to me. A lot. Um, but otherwise I keep most of the books that actually mean a lot to me and influence me greatly in one way or another. So yeah. Um, so question number nine is do you prefer physical books or ready on a device like a Kindle? Um, I generally prefer physical books. Um, 120% I love physical books and if I had to choose a physical book I would choose hardbacks or paperbacks. I would choose paperbacks. I love paperbacks. I love breaking them. And the spine, like I, I like, you know, when you can tell you've loved a book so much and what's your favorite part in the book by just looking at it. Um, that's something you really get from hardbacks and hardbacks are also really bulky and hard to carry because I read a lot when I was on tra public transportation. What, like It just takes up a lot of room in my bag. So paperbacks are preferable. And um, again, generally I prefer hardbacks. I do have Kindle books. Some of them are books I bought on Kindle for school. Some of them are books I bought because I didn't want to wait with a couple days of shipping from Amazon, so I just bought them on Kindle. I recently bought two books on Kindle just because I wanted to read that stuff right there and then um, rather than going to Barnes & Noble and picking it up if they have it in stores because it's an older book. But yeah. That's a lot of sentences for a simple question, for a simple answer. I'm sorry. Okay, so moving down the list. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, missed it, missed it. Okay, here we go. So what is your favorite book series? And again, this is really hard because I absolutely love Harry Potter. I absolutely love Mercy Thompson and Alpha and Omega. I like Outlander. I'm not very far in the series, but I really like it. I've gotten many recommendations that I'm going to be picking up here shortly about other series I should watch that I'm actually really excited about. I obviously like this series. I obviously like that series. I'm a very big series person. Not sorry. I love it. Um, but probably Harry Potter is my favorite, absolute favorite series with Patricia Biggs coming in in a very, very, very close second. Um, these are the books I reread the most, which is one of the, you know, questions, but we'll get there. I'll re-answer it. Um, so what book is next on your list to read? Um, I've been borrowing this book for um, her whole school semester, but I have The Little Prince, which I'm kind of, no, that's not mine. That's someone else's. I kind of started reading, but I didn't really get very far into it until I picked up the water knife because the water knife was going to be a book club thing that fell through. That's not what we're here to talk about. And Hollow City, so um, which is a peculiar children's part of the series. It's book two. So those are the two I'm probably going to read next if something else doesn't walk into my life before then. And um, so what book have you reread the most? Um, definitely the Harry Potter series. I reread them about once every single year. I'll go through all seven of them and I'll just reread them once every year. I'll just, and it's not planned. It's not like, oh, today's November 7th. It's time to start rereading Harry Potter. It's just one of those scenes where I start missing the characters and I start missing the series really bad. And so I just visit them again because they're always there. And um, when I'm not rereading Harry Potter, I'm probably rereading Patricia Briggs, which I'm actually also doing right now, as well as reading this. So I'm reading this and I'm rereading Patricia Briggs um, in the Mercy book, the last one, which was Fire Touched. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. I can't believe I do this in every single video. I'm like, I'm prepared. I'm ready. I get in front of the camera and I'm like, I can't remember anything. What's butterbeer called? What's pumpkin spice called? What's all this stuff? Mm -hmm. Um, bonus, 
who gave you your love? This is a bonus question. Sorry, I should probably not just say bonus because that's what it says on my prompt. But the bonus question after question number 12 is who gave you your love for reading? Um, my mom reads a lot, um, tried to get me to read as a kid. I eventually just decided to pick up Harry Potter in fourth grade and boom, here we are. And as another little bonus, these are the two books I just really bought recently with the water knife. I haven't really bought any books since then, but it is this book right here. I'm really big into Western history and art history, so I got these two books, which are sitting on top of my other like textbooks down there. Okay guys, those are all the questions for my book tag. Again, questions are in the description. The books I talked about are in the description. Um, and if you want to go ahead and make a video like this, go ahead and do it. All the questions I pulled together, um, hi Jiggles, that's her tail. I pulled together myself from other book tag videos and I kind of shifted through them and made one that was more applicable to what I wanted to talk to you guys about, about my book series. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys again real soon, probably with a movie tag video and then we'll see what I do after that. Anyways, oh, it just got blurry. It just got blurry. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and say bye, guys. I love you very much. Um, please always follow the vice of glitter. When you're having a bad day, glitter makes me feel better, so you can pass some glitter on it. Hopefully, it'll help you out like it helps me. Superhero Ken. Maybe I should go with Kermit. Anyways, so I just, bye. i am got to stop doing two-minute goodbye videos. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.